so now let us move on to the last major physical division of india that is the islands island is a land mass which is surrounded by water on all the sides so now we have two major groups of islands one is the lakshadweep island the other one is the andaman and the nicobar islands the lakshadweep islands are lakdiv minikoy and the amidai are the three important island groups which were joined together or the major islands of the lakshadweep island which were named in 1973 as the lakshadweep islands here they are extended over 32 kilometers and the headquarters of lakshadweep is kavaratti kavaratti island is the headquarters of the lakshadweep islands and here we have an uninhabited land or island which is known as pitti where we have a beautiful bird sanctuary where we don't find any human beings here so the lakshadweep island got its name by the combination of three islands together that is lakadiv minikoy and amidai and together in 1973 we renamed them as uh, lakshadweep islands it is stretch over a uh, 32 kilometers of land and the headquarters of lakshadweep is kavaratti and pitti is the name of an island where we find the bird sanctuary and it is completely uninhabited by the human beings in the lakshadweep group of islands now moving on to the eastern side in the bay of bengal we have large group of islands that is the andaman and the nicobar islands these are numerous and they are scattered and these innumerable there are many islands it's like a rough estimation like 250 to 260 islands are present in the eastern coast of india that is on the bay of bengal region and uh, we also have uh, these islands are the elevated portions when the volcanic activity happened and we have great diversity in the flora and the fauna which is present in the andaman and the nicobar islands and here it is a completely equatorial region and covered with a thick forest so that is a speciality of andaman and the nicobar islands so with this we come to the end of the six major physical divisions of india now india is a land of full potential because when we look at the great himalayas where they are the source of the water resources and from there you can build a dam on a river and it also provides ample support for the irrigation and also for agriculture where they act as a granaries and moving on to the plateau lands where they are the natural resources abundantly blessed with the natural resources where we can go for industrialization coastal plains we can go for fishing port activity trading exchange can happen and with this we can understand that indian great physical features provides an enormous and a significant opportunity for the india to emerge as a superpower nation which is itself showing that there is a huge and a great future possibilities of development in our land if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus